So what we're going to do in this video is um, work further on our quiz here. So if I click on start, you can see that we've got our question and our possible answers here and I can select my answer and it goes to the next question. Um, but these questions always go in the same order. So if I restart it, sky, grass, orange. If I restart it again, sky, grass, orange and that's a bit boring so what we might want to do is put a random order in for our questions uh, so that's what we're going to do in this video so the first thing that we're going to do is go to our actors here and in the start button we're going to change the attribute of question number so that it selects a random question so if we have a look at the um, attributes for the for the game here, you can see that the question number always starts on question number one. We want this to be a random number um, from our table. So if we have a quick look at our table, we can see that we've got five possible questions. So we want it to be a random between question number one and question number five. And just select a number between one and five and, and that's the question that will come up. So if we go back to our start button, and we're going to put a change attribute on here and let's call this um, select first question and the attribute that we're going to change is that question number and we're going to put a function in here which is a random function and we're going to say the minimum number for our random is going to be 1 and the maximum number for ours is 5 because we've got 5 questions so it's going to pick a number between 1 and 5 which links to 1 of 5 questions so now if we click on preview here we go so the first question is different and let's do it again yeah different question back to that one yeah, so it's just picking these numbers at random always seems to be picking the same two there we go there's a different one okay so you can see that it's randomly selecting that first question now what we need to do is uh, make sure that the next question that it selects is random as well and in order to do that we need to go into our answers options here so what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of these three here because we're going to edit the first one and then we're going to copy it again so if we go into answer number one we're going to put this added function onto the when pressed rule okay so the first thing that we're going to do is remove the question row from the table that we have just had so what we need to do is drag in a add remove row and we'll select the table and we want to remove a row and it will say where do you want to remove that row we want to remove the row at a specific place so we click at an index and that index is going to be the question number that's been picked so in here we're going to select question number okay so now it's going to remove the question that we've just had to make sure that we don't get the same question again I should also add that it's really important that this um, function goes in this position rather than further down in the list because next we're going to change uh, some functions below it and if this uh, remove row uh, is further down then the game will not function properly so you need to make sure that this add remove row function is in this position uh, within your rules um, in our previous video um, we set up these two attributes here and I noticed that in the previous video I forgot to change the name 
of the rule here. So this one is question number, which is correct here, but this one is questions answered. So I'm just going to change that title there. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is um, change the question number attribute. Um, so once we've removed it, we're going to change the question number, which is just here. So all we need to do is change this section here. So we're going to change the question number. And again, this is going to be um, random. So if we go in here, we're going to say, let's get rid of all this. We're going to select the random number again. And the minimum, again, is going to be row one, uh, one question. Um, the maximum, now because we've removed a row and we'll remove a row every single time, uh, this number is always going to be changing. So we need to put a function in here. And that function is the table row count. So it will count how many rows that we've got. And the table is our level one table here. Okay, so that's all set up. So now I can just duplicate this three times. So this is two. That's three. That's four. And again, we just need to go back in and change the numbers in these. So remember last time we came up here, this is answer number two. So we need to go back in here, change this to two. And we need to change this one to two. Go into actor number three. Three there, three here, and actor number So now we should be able to drag these actors back in. Okay, let's preview this. So what colors the sky? We've got some various different answers there. Blue is in there twice. Let's just check that on the table. No, nope, so something's going on with this one here. So let's just go back into actor number three. Okay, yep, I've forgotten to press the tick on that one. So let's change that to three. I forgot to press the green tick there. Yep, I did on that one. Okay, let's preview it again. Here we go. Let's refresh. Here we go, different question. Let's just test that the answer's correct. Yep. yep. So this just seems to be working. We start it again. Colors the grass, green. So now it's picking questions at random and selecting the appropriate answers for those questions.